quite a few unique learning opportunities at the recent Becknology Days over in Indiana from Bex Hybrids. Talking about their practical farm research, one of the items on display was their 400 bushel project. Now, 400 bushels to the acre, that'd be pretty nice to have at a cornfield. Agronomist Travis Burnett, leader of the project, agrees. Yeah, so really this was, uh, we were challenged by Sonny back uh, to raise 400 bushel corn, and we dug into that and kind of wanted to get some of his thoughts on why why 400. And, and really it comes down to what's going to be that next step change uh, management practice as it relates to corn production. Uh, and basically he wants to, you know, how are we going to farm in 20 years? Is this how we're going to have to do it? Uh, we have an ever-growing population. We have less acres to raise corn. We're going to have to raise yields some way. Um, so an interesting thing, you know, what's the definition of insanity, right? It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Uh, so if we're going to raise 400 bushel corn, we're going to have to farm differently than we do it today. And that's the whole idea behind this. The things we're doing aren't practical. Uh, there's pieces that could be practical, but as a system, the, the, the system's not practical today, but um, will it be 20 years from now? Uh, that's, what, that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to figure out how to raise that type of yield level and then work backwards to make it profitable and take it to the farm level. And a major part of that 400 bushel project is specific water control and with that fertilizer control. Underground, we're actually irrigating and fertigating through a drip line irrigation system from Netafim. Uh, we chose that because uh, it allows us more opportunity to fertigate uh, than, than an overhead pivot. We can be more efficient with particularly phosphorus and potassium applications. Um, so that's why we chose that. Uh, but then we also have a linear pivot down here uh, with the main purpose of that to cool the canopy during, during grain fill. Okay, so we're making applications of just water to cool that canopy down uh, this time of year while we're filling that grain. Uh, we're also using that, that linear pivot to do uh, fungicide and insecticide applications. So there's a lot of different things going on down here. Um, really, we're just trying to alleviate as much stress during that growing season as possible. We don't want that plant to have a bad day. More from him and other practical farm research stories online at ohioagdat.com. I'm Joel Penorwood.